my, one of my previous articles, I strongly suggested that the so-called uh, political posturing about by uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu as well as uh, his Defense Minister Ehud Barak about the nuclear Iran nuclear program, which has now become sort of an open and uh, subject to public debate. It's somewhat different than what used to be in the past, where this whole issue was almost taboo and the Israelis did not really discuss it in any significant way. And the purpose, of course, is uh, multiple purposes behind what Barack and, uh, and the Prime Minister have been uh, attempting to achieve here. And that is to send a message to the United States, to the European community, to the Arab state, to Iran itself, and many other countries or organizations, Hezbollah, Hamas, and others. And I think the Israeli threat to strike Iran should be taken uh, seriously and I do, be, I do not believe that Israel is bluffing. What we have to think and about and consider is, at one point, Israel may conclude this is the time to strike. And here, where there is, again, a tremendous amount of debate going on, and I can suggest to you, if Israel concludes that the Iranians have reached, or about to reach, a point of no return, that is, having the technology to assemble a nuclear weapon at a very short notice, or being able to transfer much of their sensitive technology, new centrifuge, to the uh, plants in, in Fordow near Kuhn, and make them impregnable to air, air strike. And if Israel concludes along these lines that the United States uh, is not prepared to take a military uh, action against Iran, I think under these conditions, Israel will strike. And no one uh, should assume that uh, Israel will not do so, even by Israeli own calculation, an Israeli strike may delay uh, the Iranian nuclear program by two or three years. From their perspective, it's better to delay it by two or three years and then deal with it anew, rather than allow them to acquire nuclear weapons, the repercussions of which from the Israeli perspective would be much worse than actually attacking Iran itself. You know, it is quite hard to, to gauge what the Iranian might or might not do. Uh, the Iran, of course, boosts and say, well, we're going to retaliate. We have a ballistic missile that can hit many targets in Israel, that they can disrupt uh, the, the shipping of oil from the Strait of Hormuz. They can attack even American targets in the, in the area there. So they're saying all kinds of things. But we also see in intelligence from the Israeli side and some other sources that suggest the Iranian may not want to escalate the kind of conflict, and they will uh, demonstrate that they will not have become a victim of Israeli aggression. So there is also that possible scenario. And it could be also a scenario in the, uh, somewhat, uh, somewhere in the middle. They will strike in order to save face domestically, and uh, hope to put tremendous pressure on Israel and, uh, and uh, with the United Nations Security Council and others. And that may be exactly what they uh, might want to do in order to prevent further escalation. Because Iranians know only too well, I think, that if they manage to hit Israel hard and Israel sustain significant losses, Israel will retaliate uh, in a much more, much forceful way, which could inflict unacceptable damage uh, on Iran, not nuclear facilities, but on other areas. And so I think the Iranians are going to weigh this very carefully and choose a course of action that, from their perspective, will limit their losses uh, as, as much as possible.